are actually far less genuinely, and I'm not talking about the guys who front, genuinely mm. high value men than there are pretty girls. You can go to any club in any country in the world. I've been to 72 countries. You can go to any club in any country in the world and see pretty girls. If you're going to find a young, in shape, smart, tall, intelligent, rich man, it's extremely difficult to find. And that man has options. He has more options than a beautiful girl. And I'll tell you something what a high value man respects. When he meets a girl that's genuinely ride or die, as in, he, I'm with this man, I like this man, this man loves me, I love him. He fucked that bitch, but it doesn't matter because he came home to me. Right. That man has choices. Why would he choose a girl who thinks, oh, if he sleeps with another girl, I'll go sleep with some dude. He just, he'll just ignore you. He won't be with you. You're not going to have the best of the best if you're going to think that way. The only what girl, you don't know won't hurt you, right? Say again? What you don't know won't hurt he you, He right? will know. He'll smell it because he's a bad boy like me. For the men, what do you guys consider a high-valued man? Is it looks? Is it money? Or is it both? Or, well, I mean, what's your opinion on that? I'm just curious on what you as guys, a as a man, thinks a high-value man is. Mm. Okay. You want to go first, CEO, or me? Uh, you can go first. You know what I truly think a high-value man is? Mm. A high-value man is, is doing something which nearly... Okay, it's a few things, right? So mm. there's, there's the obvious evolutionary triggers. Okay. The easiest way to be a high value man is a man who's capable of violence. If we look at it from a biological trigger, it doesn't matter if he's got muscles or he's big or he's tall, or whatever. Women understand from a biological perspective, they like a man who can fight. Yeah. It doesn't matter if your man had money, a Ferrari, everything. But if you knew for a fact, if any dude stepped to him, he'd get sparked, you wouldn't want him. Right? So that's the first thing. No. But no, yeah. Yeah, you need a man who could fight. But, the, but really, truly to answer your question, I think the, the true value of a high, the true marker of a high, high value man is a man who could say no to pussy. And I mean this on a genuine level. Here's yeah. the problem. Yes. Here's the problem you girls don't understand. All the lower level dudes, you say, I don't want a high value man who cheats, da da da. The most high value man in the world who ticks every single box. If he has no hoes and he's home with you every day watching Netflix, you're gonna get bored of him anyway. Mm -hmm. Facts. So yeah, yeah, I'm not can we Mr. fuck those together? Doesn't believe that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I agree and disagree because I prefer loyalty over anything. But this day and age, that doesn't exist. As exactly. you said, you visited exactly. 78 countries. That doesn't happen in other countries at all. Women are nothing in other countries, like you said. You 72. 72. 72. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> 72. Okay. But um, yeah, it just yeah, no girls don't have any type of rights when it comes to that. So United States is the only way like that. Is that's just the reality of it. So you either take it and leave it if you want a high valued man, as you said, that's just how it goes. So that's okay, so what think. about okay, so what about to change the what about to change the question, right? Mm -hmm. Let's assume that every single high value man across a ten year span at some point mm -hmm. is gonna fuck another girl. Okay, yeah, would you do you want him to lie to you or tell or tell you the truth? Tell me the tell truth. The truth. So you do you know what girls are more scared of than losing a man they like? They're more scared of having the man they like, but he doesn't like her anymore. So what will happen if I put a girl in those kind of scenarios and she doesn't act right or doesn't make the right choice? Right. Women, women are most programmable because because all women are programmed. And I want to say this. Maybe I'll be a misogynist now. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. I said this. I said this in another podcast. I believe that men are more capable of independent thought because I believe that men are more evolved for battle and war. So if we had an idea which nobody else agreed with, we're more capable of defending it. We're, we've evolved to saying, no, the sky's blue. It's not green. Okay, pull a sword out. We'll, we'll defend our idea. Women don't have the capability to defend themselves or their ideas. So they're, they're going to go along with an idea they heard from somebody else right. in general, right? So all right. women are programmed. Women are programmed. They're either programmed by society as a whole, or if they're with a good man, they're programmed by the good man. That's, that's basically where the programming comes from Thanks. as a whole. So all women are programmed on some level.